Oh, man. Alright, so... I believe this last episode was a little shorter than we expected, was it not? Well, we kind of sped it up, but... But even then, there was only 30 minutes uh, fully done, so we can actually do, if we're not fapping it out, three uh, levels in area. Yeah. Anyway, hello, welcome back to Dark Cloud 2. Dark Cloud 2. Not Dark Souls 2. Not Bloodborne 2, though I would love to see that. Yeah. Anyway, we've gotten a whole bunch of geostones. We can now make warehouses, weather vanes, brick chimneys, iron fences, a Chinese stand. Wait, what? And China sure. exists in this land? Eh. Suspension bridge. And the lower prayer site restored. Two conditions. Three conditions. Four. Five. Uh, six. Holy mackerel. Well, first off, let's make... Uh, Wait a moment. I just noticed. What? We can make all of the Sundane stuff here? Yeah. Uh, does that mean we could go back to Sindane and upgrade the houses? We could. That's cool. Okay, so I'm actually going to quickly go ahead and pull up the Giorama for this. These 20 culture points, lower prayer sex exists, at least 15 trees are planted. We need 15 trees. Well, there's your 15. All right. All right. Uh, is there anything else that we will need? Two, three, four. I'm making four of these. Four houses. Yeah. Okay. Um, question. Yeah. I remember that there was something very, very big that would eventually need to be made. Mm -hmm. A church. Yes. How do you offset that? Surprisingly, really easy. I just like put a whole bunch of trees on one uh, thing and. Uh, Ah, uh, so like make one forest blade there. Yeah. That's cool. So okay. we made the Chinese stand, so I'm gonna go ahead and place it. Uh, so how do we want to divvy up this particular area? It's kind of weird. I just kind of put what I need wherever. You kind of just use a georama to get around where you want. I'm actually going to put it on an angle. And actually... Yeah, over here actually seems nice. It's already got a torch. Anyway, what you can actually do here is take a lot of pictures. You can take a picture of the Chinese lantern, the basket steamer, the pork dumpling, another Chinese lantern, more balanced valley, a rotating sign. Yeah. Hmm. This looks like it could use a chef. And woven silk flag. Yep. Cool. So, this could use a chef. Yep. Ferdinand! He's actually required to move in here. Yep. So, Ferdinand is now here. Yep. And you can buy food. Yep. Whatever. Premium so, chicken. He will only ever sell chicken. Yep. And dude, you have got to spruce up your menu a little bit. Anyway. Add some cure all to it. If I recall right, Sheriff Blinkhorn also needs to reside in this town. Hmm. Well. Uh, let me just double check. Yeah. Priest Bruno does need to reside here. Oh, yeah. For, mean, and the problem is he can only live here if there's a church. And we don't have that, so we're right. going to need to do some digging for that. Uh-huh. I'm double checking this. Okay, so. Though I do think we can get the suspension bridge going. Probably. Uh, make. Yeah, 50 trees. Let me go ahead and. I'm gonna go ahead and put a whole bunch of trees under this one. Mind if I take this one? Uh, sure. Okay, so just 15 trees under this one? No. J just put a few trees. Let's do. Now you see, now number one is too high. Okay, so we want to go to number one? Yep. That's three. Okay. So that, I take it that's this, is, this is four, this is one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want to put one here, and that levels that out. Yes. So if we put another tree here... We're good. Okay, one more tree here. Yeah. And one more tree right there. Now number two is too high. Okay. That's four. 
Here's two. Okay. One and two offset each other, three and four offset each other, if I recall right. Let's put one on three. Well, I'll just put one more here, and one here. Yeah, well, we're just going to put everything kind of mishmash right now. We'll kind of clean it up later on. Yep. Build the... We'll have the forest here first, and then we'll use the tr the wood from these beautiful trees to... Uh, number four. Uh, put one right by Lao Chao. That would be a Chinese bistro. Lao Chao isn't born yet! The legend is not yet alive! I wonder if Lao Chao is related, uh, related to Ferdinand. <laughs> Possibly. Well, definitely have the girth. I think that's all the trees. Yep. Alright, back to me. I'm going to go ahead and place a brick house. A brick house. In between these trees. That's some beautiful property. Oh wait, I want to rotate it. So this is going to be the more mismatch, the mid, more uh, mix match yeah. place. Now here's the thing, I just realized Parn needs to live here. But it needs to be... A purple roof. Huh. Oh! <laughs> Derp! <laughs> Once again! We gotta check out the interior design, which actually does look pretty beautiful. Yep. I would absolutely not mind living in a house like this. Or... Yeah, this is pretty relaxing and cozy. I'm actually... In one of these houses, I remember, you can actually uh, take pictures of a whole lot of stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, if you didn't get the bed, you can get the bed. Yep. So, let me go ahead and get out and move Parn in. Mm-hmm. Again, oh, hit right now. You're going to hit the X button, and you are going to go right back in. No! Let's see. Here's Parn. I missed him, didn't I? Yep, there he is. Okay, is it Parn? P R A R N? Or Parn P A R N E? P A R N. I think it was spelled differently over here. Anyway, uh, I am going to go ahead and put another house here because uh, Stuart also needs to live here. Huh. Alright. Let's see. Uh, do add-ons to a house, like a chimney or uh, other things, actually affect the weight? Uh, not that I, I think so, they do. Just very slightly. Okay, so he's in there. Uh, just double-checking. Okay, 20 culture points. Let's check culture. Almost there. Let's give this place a brick chimney. <laughs> Why not a wooden chimney? Because it doesn't fit! Come the, on. The way that slaps on is just kind of weird. <laughs> oh, see, it does mess with it. Let's Did place a know? brick house on number one. You are on three. Two. Now two. Now four. One more. There we go. Yeah, that little diorama thing at the bottom really does help. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Starlight Temple. Let's see. Ferdinand at the Chinese stand. Okay, Parn. Yeah, Weapon Shop needs Sheriff Blinkhorn. There's going to change in the future. And that reminds me. We haven't seen what the future looked like. Oh, got to set an example for safety. He needs a fence or a gate. God dang it. Place, wooden gate. I think now that can move him in. And if not, no, he, <laughs> needs, to, he needs that iron fence. It doesn't need to be an iron fence. Okay, I'm going to clean up and going to move this tree. Well, mainly because it's in the way. I'm just going to put it over here. I gotta say, I really love the world building for the, for this game. Literal world building, mind you. It definitely does. I, it definitely is pretty fun, dude. Uh huh. And let's 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, something I'd like to know. I'm very glad that Blinkhorn is the only one who actually gives a damn about doing this sort of thing. Oh, another character really does as well. I mean, in this one area. Could you imagine if every single person required this freaking fence? Yeah. That'd be a pain in the ass. Yeah. Alright, so I think that's all the people that actually do need to live here. Oh, other than Priest Bruno. Yeah, but we can't move him in until we get a church. Yeah. Any... Though, I will say, this town is already looking like a pretty cool little city. Mm -hmm. And look at that. We've almost got a lot of stuff going on right now. Yeah, but until a lot of stuff is fixed, like Lynn actually getting healed and stuff, a lot of the future is going to remain weak. Yep. So for now, uh, let me get down so now we can actually go to Star Temple. Let's see what Starlight Temple looks like in the, fu in the future. We haven't seen what it's like before we messed with it, but... It would have just been completely blank and empty. But now we have suspension bridges, and... Yeah. Perhaps something interesting going on? Oh, the Great Sage Quest be here. Yep. Oh god, these things. Oh no, we have to grab all these fruits and... All the fruits of Eden and other stuff, they're hidden all over along these things, and it's just a mindless chore to find them all. I still kept finding them here. Much later. <laughs> yep, there's another one. Where? You just passed it, right there. Crack! How did I miss that? Well, you weren't looking. I was! You didn't see it. I see another one. Alright, go get it. Witch parfaits! Well, finally some defense from Monica. She could use it. Alright, yes. We're just taking a little trip around here. There really is nothing here. Oh, there is one up here. Got Another one. one right there. Oh my goodness. More potato pie? Yep. Dude, Max. Like I said, he gets like the most out of them all. So, yeah. There's another fruit of Eden! They're everywhere here. So, if that's it, if I recall right, for now... Yep, that's it, because we're back to the front. You can see how this place looks. It's actually really nice, and I noticed that all the future's at night. Yeah, you're right. The future's always at night. Anyway, do this. Now he's at 20. She's at 16. Yeesh. And we got four fruits of Eden. So I'd say split between the two. Yep. Use Monica, use a Monica. Use a Max, use a Max. So 72 for both of them. Mm -hmm. So, if I'm mistaken, does she hit harder than Max? Uh, depending on the weapon, yeah. Okay. Look, and it depends for the characters as well. So, that's it for the future. <clears throat> And checking something. Okay, so I think we have enough time to actually go through one more dungeon. Uh, one more uh, level of the dungeon, so it's now my turn again. Yay! And we'll go ahead and go to Starlight Canyon, and we'll head to the fork in the road. Fuck! <laughs> well. Fuck, fuck, fuckity, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. Looks like. We're in for a wild ride on an elephant. Okay, Legend and I mentioned this during the fast forwarding. You guys didn't hear it, but possibly this, didn't hear it. Possibly didn't hear it, but uh, this is a floor where you can only have Monica, and your only enemy is an elephant. Yeah. Thankfully, she's very good at killing elephants. Kinda. I mean, she's not as strong as the. Uh, Right pot is at killing elephants, but she has a stronger beast slaying element than Max does, so this is something that she can take care of. Yeah, drop the meat, drop the meat, drop the meat! Bam! But unfortunately, we don't want to go through this whole thing. It's very easy to game over here because the elephants hit so hard, and I do believe that they still can insta-kill you. 
Well, no, they don't insta-kill you. They deal like 38 feet. But now Monica has a little bit more health and a little bit more defense. It's still not going to save you if you take too many hits, so you've got to be on your toes. And question, does the paint affect culture points? Uh, yes, it does. It actually boosts culture points a little bit. Does it cost too much? Not really, because you get a whole bunch of paints uh, from dungeons. So you can paint the whole town blue and yeah. paint well, the whole town red. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just going to go ahead and save this for the next area. you got you got to have four houses, each with a different color on them. Oh, that's going to be fantastic. Uh, red, green, blue, and purple, if I recall right. So it's good that we're picking up these paints now. Yeah, but you really only need one paint color to paint one building. Or at least one part of a building. Hmm. So it's never really all that bad. It isn't, to be honest. Alright. Oh, seriously? These guys are here too? I believe these guys require... Yeah, you'll want some more smash. Okay, magic does a bit more damage. Ah, Jesus Christ. I believe it was the golem that did me in into one time. Yeah, this is why I just kind of like to spam it. I think you just got some more bread. Oh, you got a stamina drink! Okay, this is another thing that I, forget, that I mentioned to uh, Legend off script, uh, during the speedup. Stamina drinks back in the original game would boost your health, and if you're poison, good, uh... Or frozen or something, it would it would take care of those issues. What does it do in this game? Uh, it still boosts your attack. I don't think it actually heals the poison or anything, but it still boosts your attack. So if you want to deal extra damage to an enemy, which you do, especially in these sections like this, it might be a good idea to do that. So let me just quickly test something. Okay, I'm dealing like tw twenty to eighteen a pop. Okay. A little stamina drink. You're doing much more damage. How long does it last? Uh, about a minute or so. That sounds awesome. No meat. Okay. Oh, treasure. I'm going to go for the enemies first. I'll come oh, back. True, true. You do want to... Oh, holy Enron! So you just want to, like, alternate between long-range fire and, uh... Guarding with those guys. Hey, it's an office. I would save those for the enemies that really do need it. Like this thing? No, like the golems. Who hit much harder and take much less damage. Drop the meat, drop the meat, drop the meat, drop the meat! You got a water element. Damn it! I thought you wanted more water elements. Oh wait, that's sea dragon skills, excuse me. Yeah. I believe you are entirely invisible during your special while you're launching it, so... Yeah. That will help. But of course, you don't move as quickly while you're charging up the special, so... Have to be careful. Have to be careful! Right. What is that? What's the blue thing? This thing? Up. Oh, oh that. lightning stuff. Causes lightning damage. So that's a projectile weapon that does lightning damage? Yep. That's pretty cool. Let me see how much a gem does to this guy. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, what was that we were saying before about uh, item sucking? Yeah, open mouth, insert foot. <laughs> We've been proven wrong. Deliciously wrong. Give me some more holy on it. Uh, does it, do any of the characters actually sell those bomb items? The bombs? Well, the fire element items or anything of the sort? I think one character does. I think Rufio does. So Rufio's got magic? Yeah. Well, we well, might he... want to carry some of that now, because look at this! But by the way, if you get any holy stones, don't use them. Really? Yeah. Because you're going to need them to make an item later on. Uh, okay. I can see our little Giorama stone down there. Yep. I'm gonna give the lightning gem a try. Unless this is... Okay, this is another elephant. 
Yeah, there goes. Holy! They're weak to ice? Yeah. Oh! That pretty much one shot it. Pretty stone. It looked like she was holding onto an egg. Adorables. Alright, so. So now that we know that those elephants are weak to ice. Yeah, gotta bump up the chill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we absolutely do. Wait. Okay. okay, we still haven't gotten the giant meat. Ten bucks said this is gonna be the last enemy. Oh, by the way, this is another split off path. There's a sun and a moon path. Really? Yeah, I forget which one we wanna go. So, uh, you're telling me that there's some more uh, sumo going on down here? No. Yeah. Oh, shot it. Oh, no, I don't. That's a two shot. Pretty much. I want to kind of save it. And. Boop! Down you go. Give me the meat. Nope. You deny me the meat! I deny you the meat. Legend? I'm not denying nothing. I will not deny my denial. Look at that! If you didn't have these items, you'd be fucked. Look at that! I think it. we are not able to use the, uh... It's a herd of elephants! I will say, we're upgrading... All of Monica's stuff. Uh, but we're out of things. Wait a minute, that's a poison apple. You can poison them? Yep. Yikes, though. Yeah. We have bombs. Really, really crap bombs. They do their job, though. Wasn't hey, the you last the meat! It wasn't the last one, but it was the second to last. Looks like you killed the herd. Yep. Like Alrighty. I believe I did get killed here at one point. So now that we've done that, we, we have learned our lesson about the importance of bams. Of bams and items? And you can actually make bombs and items. Uh, let me see. If I recall right, I did do it so we could actually make something that's even better than normal bombs. What was that clump that I saw? Yeah, you can make feet for the clown uh, <laughs> ride pod. <laughs> but it's creepy as hell. You can make bombs, improved bombs, and light speed. Okay, what does the improved bomb use? Bombs, flame, and wind crystals. So you could turn your bomb into a better bomb that does more damage? Yeah. But the, li the light stone. speed is really expensive, though, and you kind of want those holy stones. So okay, but I think using the improved bombs would definitely be a good use of our resources. Yeah, if we get more bombs, keep in, mind they, keep in mind they use the flame and the wind crystals, which we use to spectrumize. Yes, but consider how many of those you have, mm -hmm. and that you're going to be grinding and getting more. I think you can afford it. Fair enough. Um, um, something else has just occurred to me as well. What? Max doesn't look like he's ready for an adventure. What do you mean? May I? Uh, hold on, let's exit the dungeon because I wanted to go to Balance Valley. Alright, while we're here, may I? What do you want to do? Oh, nothing important. Nothing terribly, terribly important. Oh god, you're going to change his outfit to the Explorer's gear, aren't you? Yes! <laughs> We've had that hat in our inventory for too dang long. Let's go ahead and equip it. Good lord, it looks horrible. And we'll keep it. Monica's wearing something different. Max might as well get in on the fun. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so with that, let's do more Giorama. Let's see what else we can do. Wooden Wood. fence! 15. 15 trees place has been made clear. Okay, if I recall right, we do need to put four torches... Again, I'm kind of looking through the Giorama, just making sure. Well, if we need four torches, that'll be easy enough. It won't affect the whole thing all that much. Let's see. Suspension bridge, two people, crystal... Yeah, Suspension four. Bridge. at least four tor torches are, are uh, burning. Yep. And we can... Let's go to our buddy. Conda! 
We'll do. So, what is it you need? Rolling logs. Ah, I got your I got your lumber pile right here. Do you want it in pine, cedar, or oak? Uh, Wait, sorry. It seems that our oak has gone over to the Alola region for some reason. <laughs> oh, good God damn it. <laughs> you, that was... Did you, did you hurt something? Did you hurt something getting to that? Because that is one hell of a stretch man. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so... I'm just going to go ahead and see if we can sell anything else. I'm probably going to sell these heartthrob cherries. They actually cost stop, which freezes an enemy in place. That sounds amazing. Actually, I'll just sell the vanilla bananas because they cause thirst. Give him banana. I'm going to actually sell a bunch of these. The antidote amulets aren't actually that important. I've never had a need for them. Huh. You okay. could we could sell some of these. Yeah. Even gonna, if we never use them, they look free. I'll just go ahead and sell the iron leg. I wouldn't recommend it, honestly. I'll, no. se I'll sell her yellow ribbon, though. I'm actually kind of opposed to selling anything right now. <laughs> God damn it, legend! <laughs> but, uh... Go piss me off! What about bait? Actually, I've got a fish we need. We're not going to be fishing anymore. Ever. <laughs> because fuck it. I am going to keep at least one carrot. Okay. But. We have 21 of these batons? Yep. Oh my god. Alright, alright. I. We need a fuck ton of old logs. Okay, here's your. Here's your lumber pile. Okay, I'm gonna go to 39. 50, 50, 60. Does he upgrade? Does he update his stuff? Nope. Everything requires all the stuff here. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're good on everything else. Sounds good. I'm gonna get ten of those. All right. With that, let's go back to Balance Valley. The Balance Valley in Balance Valley. Yeah, and. Then we'll go ahead and put up the pot torches. We'll check to see if... Oh, wait. That's not going to be enough to uh, do what we need. But uh, this is just one more thing that the place needs. So, pot torch here. Oh, what? You know what? I think they'd be cooler if they were like, in the center of each one of them. Uh, like, mark it as sort of... Like central area thing. Well, I, there's a, there's a torch on every single one of them for the four corners. So I'm just going to put a pot torch near the houses for some light. Oh, okay. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. Because this also counts as culture points for each of the houses too. And there's wind blowing. You may you may be thinking, oh, why are they complaining about the wind? But the thing is. Around here, when the wind picks up, it takes Arizona with it and brings it straight to us. <laughs> so, uh, there will be days where we can't see the sun. Yep. Where allergies will be e will be the death of us. Yep. We got 50 culture points, by the way, which I think is the maximum of culture points we technically need for the area. In order to progress. In order to 100% this place. But I think we can go further there. Keep in mind, we're not going to be able to do anything until Starlight Temple's restored, and that's not going to happen... Until we get... Until the Crystal Prayer Site is completed, and we complete the Crystal Prayer Site. Priest Bruno needs to get his ass over here. And technically, in order to get to church, we have to go on the opposite path that I just went down. Ugh. So it's going to be a little while. But we do need to go to the end of that one path that we can uh, start in the uh, station. First important reason, and we will do that in the next episode. Not a lot of speeding up this time. No. But then again, we've been busy. Why don't we have one more sweep of the Giorama before we leave? All right, we got this place. I'm, we're going to put the church here. Okay, we'll put the church right by the... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're going to put the church right by the bistro? Yep. 
I have known some people who threw a fit and several tables for doing something like that. Really? Oh, yeah. Back in the olden days. You made this place a den of thieves? The original table flip was born. And with that, see you guys later. I'm loving how it's looking. Bye. Bye.